In the latest episode of Days of Our Lives, chaos ensues as Chad fights a fire engulfing the Horton house, while Trip races to save Harris's life. As the fire alarm blares, Chad scrambles to get his family to safety, but Julie realizes he's still inside trying to extinguish the flames. Meanwhile, Trip encounters Stefan at the bistro and later rushes to help Harris, who's bleeding profusely on the loading dock. Ava, panicked by Harris's condition, seeks Trip's aid, leading to a tense moment. Amidst the turmoil, Kate retaliates against Harris's attacker, Lucas and Kate share a moment of relief, and Roman learns of the danger Harris poses. In another storyline, Paulina and Chanel share a heartfelt moment before Paulina's surgery, highlighting their bond amidst uncertainty. Paulina's preparations for the worst prompt emotional exchanges with Chanel, underscoring their love and support for each other. As tensions rise, Jada discovers Harris's fate, and Chad receives a cryptic call amidst the chaos. The episode's gripping events set the stage for dramatic confrontations and unforeseen developments in the days to come. Stay tuned for more twists and turns in Salem's ever-unfolding saga. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Days of Our Lives Recap Monday, February 12th, Chad's foreboding message, Lonnie calls home before Paulina's horror. The Horton living room was on fire, so Chad D. Mara promised to call 911 and pushed Julie to get the kids out of the house, according to the Days of Our Lives spoilers for Monday, February 12th. Julie discovered Chad was still inside the house attempting to use the fire extinguisher after she had safely crossed the street with Doug Williams, Thomas D. Mara, and Charlotte D. Mara. Julie made sure that everything worked out by running back in and persuading Chad to go with her. Julie sobbed as firefighters battled to preserve the house, lamenting the loss of half of her life. Although Chad comforted the children that their toys would be replaced, he also had to acknowledge that he had misplaced old pictures of Abigail de Mera. Eventually, Chad received a call, and in the distorted voice he heard, it was suggested that perhaps he should listen the next time. Trip Johnson noticed Stefan de Mera at the bistro on Monday's episode of Days and said that he was dressed this time. However, Ava Vitali cautioned her son not to discuss the incident. After that, Ava contacted Trip in a panic after discovering Harris Michaels bleeding on the loading dock. Trip dashed outdoors to assist Harris, who was bleeding from both his left arm and chest. As soon as Wendy Shin showed up, she called 911 to report Harris's condition. Ava once whispered something about how this wasn't supposed to happen, but when Stefan heard and inquired as to what it meant, she dismissed the remark. Trip had to shock Harris's heart to regain his pulse once EMTs arrived to assist. After Harris was finally taken to the hospital by ambulance, Trip talked to Kayla Johnson on the phone, worried about all the blood loss. Jada Hunter had to go look into another shooting at the pub, but Ray Fernandez and Jada Hunter received updates on Harris's suffering in the interim. On Monday's episode of Days, Kate Roberts Brady retaliated against the intruder in Harris's flat, apparently hitting him in the shoulder before he fled. They were unharmed, and Lucas Horton was happy that Kate had stood up for them. They told Roman Brady everything that had happened. When Lucas revealed that Harris's flat had served as his safe haven the entire time, Jada was taken aback. After learning all the specifics of what transpired, Jada concurred that Lucas need to spend the time being with Kate and Roman. Chanel Dupree insisted on having a girls' night before her operation at Paulina Price's apartment on Monday's episode of Days of Our Lives. She also brought suitcases filled with all of Paulina's favorite items. When Lonnie Price Grant called Paulina at her incarceration, Paulina was happy to hear from Lonnie, who provided prayers and a motivational speech before her mother's surgery. In the following episode of Days, Mayor Price was shocked to get a second call regarding Harris's predicament. 
Paulina attempted to remind Chanel of what to do in the event that her surgery went wrong, realizing that you never know when your time was running out. Paulina gave in and told her daughter that Chanel wouldn't allow her to talk like Wei, promising to be around for a very long time. Keep watching Days of Our Lives, as spoilers indicate Paulina is in for some surprises in the hospital. Days of Our Lives spoilers, Stephanie is kidnapped by stalker Everett, the reunion takes a creepy, possessive turn? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Stephanie Johnson and Everett Lynch recently concurred that their rekindled romance seemed to be a dream. Although things are going well amongst the reconciled ex-couples, Stephanie may eventually have to deal with a nightmare. Everett is a fascinating character on Days of Our Lives because he is so committed to helping Salem overcome its drug problem, but he is also smarmy and even a little manipulative in his personal life. Naturally, there are still some unanswered mysteries about Everett and Jada Hunter's past. Everett might not be aware of his terrible previous marriage to Jada, who has made accusations about Bobby being a dishonest and unfaithful person. But we also have to entertain the idea that Everett could just act as though he doesn't recall this Jada relationship. When it comes to Jada and how he harmed her, Everett might be able to pass off some residual amnesia but otherwise he seems to remember everything else about his history. In any event, Everett's handling of Jada appears to be a clear indication that Daisa's supporters shouldn't put much faith in him. Whether Everett recalls cheating on Jada or not, he did it, at least if we assume this isn't a case of twisted twins and Bobby was really a pen name for him. We should absolutely pay attention to Everett's discourse because it has recently begun to take on a fairly unsettling tone. Even while some of Everett's comments sound endearing at first glance, it seems like the authors of Days are setting the stage for this relationship to take an unsettling turn. Everett has made it plain that he won't let Stephanie go now that he has her back. Everett has shown a desire to have Steffi all to himself and attempted to pressure her into moving in with him quickly. Undoubtedly, Everett is beginning to feel a lot like a stalker, especially because his entire point in coming to Salem was to get back together with Stephanie. Right now Stephanie is living the high life, but when Everett's true nature is revealed, she might fall from grace. With all of the turmoil involving Everett and Jada, Stephanie could feel inclined to pull over. How far will Everett go to keep Stephanie if she tries to leave him? He might not be open to the thought of a split. It is not difficult to picture a situation in which Everett abducts Stephanie and takes her hostage in order to try and convince her to reconsider her opinion. Together with Steve Johnson and maybe Chad DeMera, Jada could have to intervene to save Stephanie. That being said, Stephanie might be in danger and not even be aware of it at this point, so stay tuned for updates on the probable dire situation. Keep an eye on Days of Our Lives since spoilers suggest that Everett may not be the kind guy Stephanie thinks he is. While Tripp tries to save Harris's life, Chad fights the Horton House fire. Today on Days of Our Lives, Ava desperately asks for assistance, Chanel arranges a ladies' night on Paulina, Jada makes an unexpected discovery, and Chad receives a mysterious message as the Horton house burns. A beaming Chanel arrives home with loads of goods for a girl's night the night before Paulina has surgery. Paulina gives an eye roll. Chanel claims they'll play games, eat pizza and watch films despite her mother's contempt. As Lonnie calls, they decide to watch Bad Boys. Harris is injured in the shoulder by a retaliatory gunshot after the gunman opens fire on Lucas and Kate in the Harris room. He runs away. Kate watches him from the door, her gun out, unharmed. She checks on Lucas, who appears to be okay, while Roman, having heard the bullets, runs in. He tells them to remain where they are, shut the door, and keep out of the windows. Chad and Julie arrive downstairs to discover the Horton House's living room completely engulfed in flames when the fire alarm goes off. While he contacts 911, Chad instructs Julie to get Doug and the children outside. At Tripp and Wendy's table at the bistro, Stefan sits down with Ava. 
It's good to see Stefan dressed properly, Trip quips. Reminding her son that they made a deal to never talk about that night again, Ava walks outside to get some fresh air. In an uneasy tone, Wendy asks, how about that Super Bowl, while Stefan remains standing. A startled Ava runs to Harris outside the bistro as he is on the ground gasping for air. His chest oozes blood. She contacts Trip and tells him to hold on. Doug and Julie, together with Thomas and Charlotte, are sitting outside while smoke wafts. Thomas exclaims, Daddy, as soon as he realizes Chad is still inside the home. Julie takes off. Roman leaves the scene at the pub and comes back to Kate and Lucas. Lucas expresses gratitude to his mom for saving him. Roman wants to phone Harris, but Kate laughs at him because it was he who gave them the assurance that Lucas was safe. Wendy arrives at the pier, where Tripp attends to Harris while she phones 911. In an attempt to halt the bleeding, Stefan buys towels for Tripp. This wasn't meant to happen, Kava sobs. What does she mean by that, Stefan wonders. She answers, nothing, and then remembers working with Harris in secret after he confessed his love for her. She implores Harris to live. Rafe receives a call regarding the incident at the pub when he and Ava get there. Julie comes back inside the house while Chad tries in vain to put out the fire. She pulls him towards Doug and the children. Paulina hopes to be home in time for Chanel's new wedding date after hanging up with Lonnie. Chanel shifts her eyes and grins slyly, maybe. After dinner, Johnny gives Paulina a call while out shopping to wish her well. Paulina queries what makes Johnny the one as they play cards. Chanel said he gives her a sense of empowerment and safety. He is lively, imaginative, and shows her respect. He is both powerful and susceptible. He truly is the complete package. A call concerning Harris reaches Paulina. Chanel advises her to let the deputy mayor handle the problem, even if she wants to go to the hospital. Paulina responds to Harris's dilemma by outlining where all of her vital documents are in case something were to happen to her while undergoing surgery. Chanel exclaims that she is aware of everyone's location. She gives her mother the command to avoid discussing leaving this world. Paulina, shocked, swears she will give cancer such a powerful kick that it won't know what hit it. Paulina tells her daughter before they go to bed that she intends to stay for a very long time. When Jada arrives in Harris's room, Roman and Kate grudgingly let her entry. Jada informs them that Harris was shot after being taken aback to see Lucas there. While Jada calls in a forensics team, they want to relocate Lucas to a new safe house which is also Roman and Kate's room. While Kate notes that nobody was aware that Lucas was present, Lucas is aware that Clyde was responsible for the shootings. Someone did, says Roman. Lucas is aware that as long as Clyde is alive, he will never be secure. While Ava trembles to tell Rafe that she has found Harris, Tripp is working with paramedics on the pier. Tripp begins chest compressions after losing Harris's pulse. The paramedics transport Harris away once they have his breathing restored. Tripp calls Kayla to inform her that Harris had a significant blood loss. It's not good. Julie yells out about all the history of their family house while the fire team works. Doug assures Julie that their safety is the most important issue, but Julie is seeing the disintegration of half of her existence. Thomas inquires about the photos of his mother while Chad tends to his children. Chad's phone rings before he can reply. A distorted voice asks Chad to respond, maybe next time you'll listen. Wendy then tells the police about Ava on Days of Our Lives, and Xander receives a welcome surprise. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.